Come on, pass it. Pass it. How do you look, Mommy? Oh, there's my little flower girl and ring bearer. Oh, Robert, they are going to look so cute at my cousin's wedding next week. Be sure you take plenty of pictures. <laughs> I mean, who gets married on Super Bowl Sunday? They, they, they're not gonna miss me. Robert, if you think a football game is more important than my cousin's wedding, fine. But you'll have to call them yourself. <laughs> hey, Cousin Loretha, it's Robert. Step away from the phone. Uh, I was just calling to say we're excited about the wedding and uh, you picked a super day. Just super. <laughs> These cupcakes are for the wedding. Now, don't touch anything. Hey, Jerry, hmm. I just had this really great window dressing idea. You want to help me with the measurements? Oh, sure. Let me uh, just get this batter off my hands. Oh, look at that. It's all on my wedding ring. Mm. Oh. OK. Now, remember, don't touch a thing. Don't worry, Mom. Me and Cece needs to keep practicing. All right. This is going to be so cute. No, you need to practice. I doing just fine. That's because you have a real flower. I need a real ring like this one. I don't know, Nicholas. I wouldn't practice with Mommy's wedding ring. Cece, please. I'm the ring barrier. Nothing's gonna happen. Here comes the bride. Here comes the groom. So, what it? <laughs> yeah, you buried it all right. Right in Mom's bow. Oops. I made a boo-boo. <laughs> Nicholas and Cece, didn't I tell you not to touch anything? Didn't I? F we weren't eating it. No, you're wearing it. <laughs> if I see you two touching one more thing that doesn't belong to you, you're grounded. But Mommy... Mommy, you don't understand. I, I understand plenty. Now go upstairs and wash. Go, go. Ooh. I'm so glad to see you. Listen, my parents are flying in tomorrow, and I'm working, so I was wondering if maybe you would pick them up from the airport? You want me to pick up your parents? Uh-huh. Yeah, girls, by the time I met Mom and Bob, yeah! <laughs> Thank you. I just hope that you'll really like them, that's all. Hey, don't worry. Me and your parents already got something in common. What's that? We both think you the boo! <laughs> <laughs> You know I hate being in plays. Remember my fourth grade play? I was a bush. Right? Fifth grade play? I was a tree. Well, maybe it's time for you to start branching out. Uh, hey, guys, what's going on? Look, I have to do a scene from a play in theater class, and I need help with my lines. I'm familiar with theater. Yeah. The Three Faces of Laquisha. I've never heard of that. Oh, my drama teacher says it's a classic. Who wrote it? My drama teacher. <laughs> Mike, please. I need your help. <sighs> All right. Yeah, all right. Okay, mm. okay. Now, I'm Lakeisha, the beautiful heroine with multiple personalities. Oh, yeah? Who am I? You're the tree. Ah, forget it, Zaya. This hey. it. it was me, Joe. <laughs> Jerry, have you seen the earplug to my portable TV? Robert, you are not going to watch the Super Bowl during my cousin Loretha's wedding. Uh, no, not if I don't find my earpiece. 
Hey, Jerry. Hey. Rob. Rob, how much does it cost to hire a limousine from the airport? About 100 bucks. You think you can loan me 100 bucks? <laughs> Wonder what's up? Just said I'm picking Karen's parents up from the airport, and I'm nervous. About what? She said her parents always wanted her to marry a doctor. Don't worry, Wendell. All parents are like that. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be fine. I mean, you got a job. You're an educator. Rob, I'm a substitute teacher. I mean, I'm a walking spitball target. You got your own place. And it's so small, I can walk in and out at the same time. Wendell, don't worry. I'm sure they're gonna like you. Of course they will. Now, Robert, we've got to ask the neighbors to watch the house while we're gone. I'll watch your house. I mean, it's only gonna be one night, and I was gonna come over anyway. He's got a point. I don't know. Wendell, house sitting on Super Bowl Sunday, I can only imagine. Wendell, Wendell, he's our man. He can't do it. No one can. Oh, Wendell! Oh, 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 oh. Hey, 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 look. My home is your home. And since this isn't my home, do it, do it! Look, man, your house is gonna be safe and sound with Wendell. You know, Wendell, I'm not worried. Well, I'm gonna go upstairs and pack and just look over our homeowner's insurance. <laughs> Wendell, you're lucky. You get to stay here and watch the game. Oh, I got a game planned, all right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Miss Come on, Zaria. Oh, I mean, I mean, Laquisha. Yes, but I'm not just Laquisha. There are others living inside of me. Ja, I'm Helga, the tank commander from the German army, and you will come with me. You will. Linda. Sorry, what's wrong with you? No, it's not Zaria. You see, she's Laquisha. She's a tortured heroine mm -hmm. with three different personalities. Play. <laughs> well, the four y'all got a plan to catch. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on. Bye. Come on, guys, come on! Wendell, I can't leave. I can't find my wedding ring. You ain't getting married and you don't need it. <laughs> Wendell, why is the table set? Karen's gonna come over, we're gonna have dinner. Why is it set for four? Because we might want seconds, I'll stay out of my business, come on. If you guys would like dessert, I made an extra batch of my delicious half-eaten cupcakes. Nicholas and Cece, did you do this? Yes, we thought there might be a prize inside. Oh, There's your cap, finally. Come on, guys. Let's go. Have a come, on, come, on, come on, come on, baby. I got everything covered. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oops, sorry. Take care, man. Nice coat. Thanks. <laughs> it looked like yeah, a elf. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Cece. Yes? Wendell Wilcox? Yes, the third. You must be Mr. and Mrs. V.C. Ken's parents. Hello, Hello come Wendell. in. Wendell. It was so kind of you to send a limousine to pick us up. Well, I would have picked you up, but I was at the hospital all day in surgery. You see, I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a doctor, really? So where do you practice, Wendell? I don't have to practice. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Won't y'all come today? <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, so what are you, um, a cardiologist or an endocrinologist? Actually, I'm a Baptist. <laughs> <laughs> so then the doctor says, the good news is you have 24 hours to live. The bad news is, I forgot to tell you yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> he should have <laughs> 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 Some people say I'm even lower than that. <laughs> Some people specialize. Oh, uh, no, I'm kind of all over. You know, ER, EKG, run DMC. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, if you're a doctor, I guess you play as much golf as I do. So what is your handicap? Flat feet. <laughs> yeah, I got eight grown toenails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Must be one of my patients. They never oh. stop. It don't work. Hey, I got your message to meet you here. Mom, Dad. <laughs> Hello, baby girl. Hello, honey. You have a really nice young man, and he has such a lovely home. What? Wendell showed you his home? Yes, Karen, this is my home. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know you're not going in. Uh -huh. And a wonderful home it is. In fact, I wish we could stay and get to know you better. I just wish you guys could stay. If it was up to me, you could stay the whole month. But, um, uh... Well, that's nice, but uh, I have a meeting in the morning. In fact, yeah. can I use your phone to confirm our flight? Be my guest. The phone's in the West Wing. The kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, sweetie, where did you and Wendell meet? Well, I was doing some work at Robert and Jerry's house. Uh, now, who's Robert and Jerry? Good yeah. friends of mine. Nice people. Colored couple. <laughs> oh, so sweet. You two are really lucky to have found each yeah. other. God, Wendell's quite a catch. <laughs> yeah, Ma, you know, it's amazing what he'll do to make an impression, I tell you. <laughs> Actually, Mrs. BC, I'm the lucky one. Oh. I just wish you guys could stay longer. Time doesn't permit. Good news, everyone. The airport's fogged in. I've changed my meeting, and we can stay here as long as we like. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, you know, all your stuff is up in the master bedroom. But you might want to sleep in your clothes in case the fog lifts. <laughs> you gave us your room. Oh, what no, you shouldn't have. Ma, there's so many things he shouldn't have done. Uh, listen, Mom, Dad, uh, maybe you should stay at my place on the sofa bed tonight. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry, darling, but the last time I slept on your couch, I couldn't walk for a week. I know what you mean, man. That spring be hitting you in the back. You be... I mean, I heard about it. I heard about it. I heard about it. I ain't ever seen it. I don't know. Hey, look, wait a minute. Besides this, there's plenty of room here. Yeah, you guys can stay as long as you want. As long as you're out by tomorrow morning, it's all right with me. <laughs> Okay, why, why not show you guys to your room? It's just right upstairs. Yeah, Dad. This one. Mama, mama. And then me and you, we, we gonna talk. talk. We, we gonna talk. talk. We gonna talk. We gonna talk. Woo! 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 Come here, come here, hey! Well, the airport got fogged in, and so we couldn't leave. We have to miss my cousin's wedding. Yeah, isn't that terrible? <laughs> well, you can't stay here. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. You can't go to bed. You can't wait. You can't go to bed <laughs> until after dinner. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Made you guys dinner. I wanna, I wanna Just in case you guys it. got fogged in. Come on, let's go eat. <laughs> Stuff at home, but not too at home. Be quiet. <laughs> hey, you know, I mean, what y'all doing in pajamas? Well, since we're spending the night, we decided to get comfy. Yeah, where are matters? We should have stayed dressed for dinner, huh? Ain't no more dinner. I gave it all to the homeless people. You got some more dessert? Uh, I get it, I got it. Y'all my guests. Y'all my guests. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nice homemade cupcakes. Ooh. You know what goes good with cupcakes? Huh. A nice walk in the fog. <laughs> <laughs> to your own hotel room. <laughs> You're a regular knee slapper there, Wendell. <laughs> that reminds me, Dr. Wendell. Ooh, my knee hurts when I touch it here. Well, don't touch it here. <laughs> touch it in a hotel. <laughs> Get your coats. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was walking down the hall and I noticed a couple of rooms full of children's things. Damn, y'all nosy. I mean... <laughs> no, go ahead, Wendell. Why don't you tell them why there are two rooms full of kids' things? Well, the truth is, it's because I take care of underprivileged kids. <laughs> Starving underprivileged kids. Is there no limit to the things he does? Mm -mm, not that I've seen, Mom. Oh. See, my reward is to have a house filled with laughter. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Just like that. Uh, Y'all stay here. Don't, don't, hey, don't be snooping around. This ain't your house. It's my house. <laughs> Good call, Wendell. That meal really hit the spot. Yeah, uh, whatever. But where are the kids going? Upstairs. They can't go upstairs. Why are they going upstairs? Well, why not? What's up, Wendell? Oh, wait. I know what's going on here. You and Karen had a romantic evening planned, and you don't want uh, us to cramp your style. Uh, that's uh, what it is. Uh, I want y'all to give me the cramps. <laughs> uh, Robert, Jerry, what, what are you guys doing here? Uh, <laughs> we got fogged in. Uh, oh. We're sorry to put a damper on your romantic evening. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wendell, exactly what kind of evening did you have planned? Uh, listen, Robert, Jerry, these are my parents, uh, Denmark and Helen Vesey. Oh, hello. Uh, hello. Uh, we're Robert and Jerry Peterson. Well, uh, hello. glad to meet you. Uh, these hello. are my uh, down and out friends I was telling you about. The underprivileged kids. They're theirs? Mm hmm. Whoa, how sad. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, we're really pleased to meet Karen's parents. We would say make yourself comfortable, but I see you already have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and you're welcome in our home anytime. Thanks, but Dr. Wilcox has made us feel at home here in his home. Yeah. His home? <laughs> Dr. Wilcox. <laughs> Wendell, can I talk to you for a second? Oh, why don't you guys go in the other room? I think they might be off their medication. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right in there. <laughs> so who do you like in the Super Bowl game, man? Hi, guys. Who are you? We're Karen's parents. Are you the kids from upstairs? Yes. Are you guys going to eat those cupcakes? Oh, why? Would you like one? We want all of them. <laughs> Well, you can take bigger bites than that. <laughs> Eat all you want. There's plenty more for you poor, starving children. It's a good thing Wendell is here to take care of these children. <laughs> Wendell, why did you have to tell my parents such a ridiculous story? I was just trying to impress them. If I were you, Wendell, I'd tell them the truth before it goes any further. Then they gonna think I'm a liar. <laughs> well, let's see. You told them that you're a doctor, that this was your house, and that our kids don't get enough to eat. And your point is? <laughs> uh, Laquisha, wait a minute. It's not your fault. Your parents did this to you. I know. They beat me and they hurt me. And they frightened me. Oh, no, you didn't try to touch my Gucci bag. Now I got ketchup. Please, Mom and Daddy, don't hurt me. Oh, my gosh. Denmark. Don't worry. Nobody's going to hit you anymore. We will protect you. My I'll tell you what's going on in here. You two ought to be ashamed of yourselves. When's the last time you fed these children? <laughs> Nicholas, Cece, why did you eat those cupcakes like that? Because you're starving these poor children to death. Not to mention beating poor Laquisha. <laughs> okay. I think it's about time that somebody stood up around here and told the truth. <laughs> All right. I confessed. I dropped your wedding ring in a cupcake batter. And here it is. Let me have that. We'll talk about this later. Now go to bed. Go to bed. And take Lakeisha and the tree with you. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's time for someone else to confess. Dr. Will Cox. Mr. VZ, please sit down. <clears throat> First off, I'm not a doctor. And this is in my house. It's Rob and Jerry's house. And? They take good care of their kids. I'm sorry I lied to you. I was just trying to impress you. I don't care about caring so much. So you made up this big story just to impress us. I didn't want you to know I was a substitute teacher. Ain't 
that funny? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wendell. It's just that my husband did the same thing when he met my parents. I told him that I was an architect because I didn't want him to know that I was just a substitute teacher. <laughs> you were a son? Yeah. Listen, I can feel your pain, man. I used to think I was nothing more than a moving spitball target. <laughs> Robert, Jerry. Thank you so much yeah. for your hospitality. Wendell is very lucky to have friends like you. Yes, I am. <laughs> Look, guys, won't you go upstairs and change, and I'm going to take you to one of the finest hotels in New York City. Oh, isn't he something? <laughs> yeah, he is something else. <laughs> so where are you going to put us up, Wendell? Why? <laughs> because we want to know. <laughs> no, that's where you're going, the YMCA. <laughs> I need a real ring like this one. I don't know, Nicholas. I wouldn't practice with Mommy's wedding ring. Cece, please. I'm the ring barrier. Nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> Here comes the ride. I can try. <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen. It's on the other side of it. <laughs> 